Hi everyone, I am at the airport with Sue. Cheers. We're waiting to board our flight and obviously we're at the airport right now. In the meantime, we're enjoying some beers before we board. Um, I'm not telling you where we're headed, but I will give you that hint that we're going to be visiting three countries. Europe. Yeah, but they still don't know which countries we're visiting in Europe. And uh, about seven cities. And we're going there for 21 days. Hi guys. <laughs> so we're headed to Europe. Oops, I it's... gave it in the first go. We're headed to some countries. I'll not say their name. Italy, France, resident. <laughs> update our flight got delayed it was supposed by to fly hour. by an hour <laughs> the boarding i mean we're boarding at the time the flight was supposed to leave and there's an even longer line hello from rome oh it's a video <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Hello from Rome. I'm so excited to be here. Sue is just in the shower getting ready. It's 7 p.m. and uh, as you can see, the sun is shining. We're gonna get dinner soon. This is actually gonna be our first meal in Rome. We're actually gonna start with all the sightseeing and exploring the city from tomorrow. Today, we just got some rest and relaxed. Now we're just gonna head out. actually the end of day one in Rome for us. We're here for another few days before we leave for another exciting location. Day one was uh, a little average. By the time we reached our hotel, we were a little tired. So we decided to take a nap for a bit. Then so when I got dressed and uh, we decided to go eat a meal, we looked at this restaurant called Alessio. The ratings and everything were quite nice, but the food was subpar. But here's hoping the remaining days that we're here actually live up to what Rome is all about. And I'm still excited for that. Um, I got dressed, I put out a bandana, I would show my dress as well. Maybe I'll leave a link or a photo here so you can see what I was wearing. Um, and yeah, I think we're just gonna doze off in some time and I will see you tomorrow. Hey! Rome, we're ready for you. It's day two and uh, we plan on taking on some walking tours to discover and explore the area around. The and we're excited. Mm -hmm. Look for the day. It is so freaking hot today. I think I should probably have like a handheld fan <laughs> to keep myself cool. How do we feel about the weather? So? It's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. It's burning. Yeah, it is. Which is why we're standing in the shade right now. Still waiting for our tour guide. Hopefully they'll show up soon and we'll be ready to go. So I started this vlog thinking that I will actually take you around uh, Rome and I've actually had such a change of heart because I'm thinking I'm not going to take you to the monuments or any other touristy spots that are around but I think I'm going to show you where I'm eating. All those spots so you can try out my recommendations and hopefully you will like them. Every corner has a gelateria and there's so many uh, restaurants and uh, we're actually in fact, Sue is actually waiting in line so that we can get to eat because the restaurant that we want to dine in at does not take reservations. So this is the restaurant that we're planning to dine at. It's the it's called Piccolo Buco, and you can see the lineup. And do you see Sue there? <laughs> Finally inside Piccolo Buco, and we waited about 40 minutes to get in, and we just ordered food. I'm going to share uh, my experience and how the food eventually turns out to be. Those are pizza. Oh my god, the pizza is amazing.
We actually just saw it yesterday from the outside. We did not get tickets um, for that day in particular. So I had actually previously booked the tickets for 10:30 a.m. for today, and we're just on our way there. We'll reach in about another 10 minutes. So we're almost at the Colosseum. We can obviously get a view of that. Can I just say that I am absolutely blown away by how stunning this stadium slash amphitheater is and uh, to think that this was constructed in 80 AD and the fact that I can walk in here is such a gift I must say. It just feels like you're traveling back in time and you can you know just touch those things. What you see below is the underground and I don't know what was happening. Do you see those white and sort of stones there? I'm not sure if that material is correct, but those were seats. There were seats all around. I'm gonna let this focus, yeah. There were seats all around the stadium, but they got destroyed by earthquakes. We are at this place called La Base. We just got ourselves some beer and it's actually a fried uh, cheese ball with minced meat and tomato sauce in it. Review. It's really hot right now. Hmm. I like it, but it's a little too ricey for me. There's not a lot of rice in it. The vibe of the trees is nice. I think it's perfect with my beer. I just got a sausage, pepper and cheese pasta. And we also ordered a sausage and mozzarella pizza. Update, this pizza is so good. Pizza? Pizza good. Sorry. Pasta. <laughs> Just finished having a meal at this restaurant called La, La Base. Base. Um, it was a decent meal, not a very fulfilling one, <laughs> but uh, yeah, six out of ten. Now we're on our way to eat some gelato to beat the heat. Well, the roads of Rome are so narrow, you just get to drive this car. I mean, yeah, you can drive bigger ones, but. This is just a single seat car, so only one person can sit and drive. <laughs> has a chocolate fountain at the back. Not a fountain, I would call this a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> a chocolate waterfall. I am at Venchi right now and I just got myself the banana split and the 82% dark chocolate flavors and so good. Favorosa. <laughs> they said the crowds die down by 10.30. It is 10.54. And it doesn't look like the crowds have died down. <laughs> and 
just like that, we're on our way to Florence. Ciao, Rube.